hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video and it's titled twitch affair with didi ellen ellen degeneres new trapped and blackmailed you guys i'm super excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about Ellen, were you surprised by the allegations about P. Diddy? Did that surprise you about P. Diddy? He's been on your show many times. Have a good night. But to honor Twitch, I think the best thing that we can do is to laugh and hug each other play games and dance and sing. They checked around Twitch and Allison's home looking for any clues. But the 911 call from the motel had come in just shortly after Allison had contacted the cops. So that's how this all came together. More and more celebs are getting caught up in Diddy's drama. And now Ellen DeGeneres' name is all up in the mix. Paparazzi recently caught Ellen slipping and asked about those allegations against Diddy. And let me tell y'all, she looked like she was sweating bullets trying to dip out quickly. So this definitely raised some eyebrows because Ellen and Diddy have been tight for ages. But here's the Kicker. Turns out Ellen might be dealing with way bigger issues like supposedly showing up on those rumor tapes from Diddy's freak off parties. And hold up, remember Steven Twitch boss Ellen's DJ who sadly passed away two years ago? Well, now there are rumors floating around that Steven knew something he shouldn't have about Ellen and Diddy and was silenced for it. And then some sources are going a step further, alleging that Twitch may have also been involved in Diddy's FOs and was blackmailed wow. with some incredible incriminating footage. Either way, this is all so disturbing. And when you start connecting all these dots about Twitch's sudden passing and all the mess around Ellen and Diddy, it's really hard not to feel like there's some shady stuff going on behind the scenes. 17 <laughs> times! I've been on the show 17 times! It feels like 20. <laughs> it feels like 20. <laughs> Every time feels like one and a quarter, so it adds up to 20, because it keeps going. It, you're, you're always entertaining, you always make me laugh. So first, let's talk about Ellen DeGeneres and her link to Diddy. Diddy has hit up Ellen's show many times over the years, and he's also extended Ellen invites to his parties. Now, there was one time when Ellen straight up asked Diddy if she was getting an invite to his birthday party, and Diddy claimed he always invites her, but she never rolls through. Yeah, no, it's great. So tell me about your birthday party. Am I invited? Yes. Yes, you're definitely invited. When I invite you to all my parties. You just haven't seen the show up. Today. No, well, there. Is it on the East Coast? Yes. Well, that's why. Why don't yeah. you have one here on the West Coast? Because I work all the time. Okay, well, maybe I have one at your house. But here's the thing. Word on the street is that Ellen has indeed made appearances at Diddy's parties, just not the ones suitable for daytime TV chatter. By the way, during that same interview, Diddy dropped some hints about a whole different kind of party scene that kicks off after midnight. And Ellen said she knows all about those after parties, although she tried to play it off like she was joking. Now, what time would your party start, let's say? Like 9.30. Really? That early? Yeah. I could make that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I could think of you of, of starting a party at like midnight. Like what time will it go that, till? That's a different type of party. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, no, it, it'll go from like 9.30 to like maybe 3 o'clock, 2, 3 o'clock. And then, you know, we have the top two floors of the hotel. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And then it will carry on there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then it... <laughs> No, I mean um, the, the after party. Mm -hmm, no, I know about them. Now, fast forward to now, there's this viral paparazzi footage of Ellen looking all jittery when asked about the drama surrounding Diddy. And it's got folks wondering why Ellen looks so nervous as soon as she heard Diddy's name. Ellen, were you surprised by the allegations about P. Diddy? Did that surprise you about P. Diddy? Ellen, He's been on your show many times. Have a good night. Have you been to his parties? Something's fishy, y'all, and fans are digging deep into Diddy and Ellen's connection to find out what's really going on. People are now pointing out all the things Ellen and Diddy have in common. And while Ellen hasn't faced any serious criminal accusations like Diddy, she was named the meanest woman in Hollywood for a reason. It seems like both Diddy and Ellen have been putting on this front for the public, preaching love and kindness while allegedly being involved in all sorts of mess behind the scenes. Ellen has faced a lot of disturbing allegations in the past, from claims that she mistreats her staff both at home and in the workplace to rumors that she acts like a control you guys what are your thoughts on this video do you think that alien degeneres has 
always frequently did this party and do you guys also think she knows more than we think and lastly do you guys think what happened to twitch can be linked to Didi, let me know in the comment section down below because we all know how Twitch passed and I don't believe it has anything to do with Didi but leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's continue watching you guys. Rolling jealous freak to her wife Portia and that she even reportedly forced Portia to give up her acting career. But that's not all. There's also this viral conspiracy theory that Ellen may have done something that led to her ex-girlfriend and Hesh's mysterious death. And in a bizarre coincidence, Anne died in August 2022. Almost exactly four months to the day before Ellen's DJ Twitch supposedly unalived himself. And while some people were quick to dismiss this as a conspiracy theory, many others are saying it's seriously sketchy that two people who were close to Ellen for ages ended up dead in the same year within months of each other. Now, in case you're not familiar with Anne Hedge, she was an actress who had a highly publicized relationship with Ellen. They dated between 1997 and 2000 and were often described as the world's first gay super couple. But get this, in a June 2021 episode of her podcast, Better With Anne and Heather, Anne dropped a bombshell claiming that Ellen tried to put her in an institution and that she was blacklisted in Hollywood. Every single truth that I spoke, I was hit more, buried more, more, or despised more, and then had calculated visions and, <laughs> and circulations of systems that spun me up and out of the system that would in any way challenge the fact that she was not telling her own truth but another's. Why do you think she tried to put me in an institution, folks? Hi, called my mother. Guess what? Two people who wanted more than anything to have my truth buried. It was not my timing. I did not and could not ask God for what that would be. All I could do was stay on my truth, do what I was doing and study this thing called love that we tried to bury. And now I am up and out of the ground. And unfortunately, those two women could not shut me down. But sadly, almost exactly a year after this podcast aired, Anne died in a freak car accident in the Mar Vista neighborhood of Los Angeles. As we can see the uh, the helicopter video there of the car in the house, you can see firefighters on the scene there uh, taking that car out from the house. Fox 11 in Los Angeles said the driver went into that house and sparked a fire. Firefighters were on the scene just before 11 a.m. on the west Coast. But here's the suspicious part. Law enforcement officials initially claimed that Anne was under the influence and acting erratically at the time of the accident. But when the LA County Medical Examiner coroner released the results of the final autopsy, it said that Anne was not impaired by any substances at the time of the incident and that no active were found in her system. Now, as for Stephen Twitch Boss, he died on December 13th, 2022, and the official cause of death was ruled as a self-inflicted to the head. But even now, fans are still trying to wrap their heads around this tragedy, and a lot of them are still not buying the official story. Now, here's what we know about Stephen's passing. On Monday, December 12th, he left his home on foot and checked into the Oak Tree Inn Motel in Encino, Los Angeles, just a quick 15-minute stroll from the house he shared with his wife Allison and their three children. The next day, Allison freaked out when she saw that Twitch was gone while his car was still in its place, and she ran to the local police station, begging them to take take Twitch's disappearance seriously. Allison told the police that something was off because Twitch never went anywhere without his car, and several officers followed Allison back to the house to look for clues about Twitch's whereabouts. But shortly after, the motel where Twitch had checked in the previous day called the police and said they found Twitch in the bathroom of his room. But despite the official ruling on the cause of death, fans had a tough time wrapping their heads around the idea that Twitch would do this because he never once shared that he was struggling with anything. And at least from the wow you guys what are your thoughts about twitch do you think he truly truly took his own life and why did he have to go to a hotel that is very very close to his house let me know let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below because there are a lot of things going on in hollywood that we don't even know and only god knows what really pushed twitch to unaliving himself the way he did 
leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys outside he seemed like a genuinely happy person who adored his family in fact not too long before he passed twitch and allison revealed that they were seriously considering adding another little one to the family oh, oh my god do you miss having a newborn in the house i sure do uh oh i think uh, i think we'd love to start trying for another one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? How you feel? Look, she she said she missed it. Well, you how you feel? No, listen, I, we love. Listen, I I I I. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 no, um, no, but we really do. We, uh, I mean, I, I love the little babies. I, lo I love them. And um, to be quite, yeah, it's, it's a constant conversation. Also, Twitch and Allison celebrated their ninth wedding anniversary just four days before Twitch's tragic passing. And Twitch shared this sweet tribute to Allison on IG. To be clear, just because someone looks happy from the outside doesn't mean mm -hmm. that they're not struggling in private. And depressed people are often good at masking their symptoms, even in front of their loved ones. On mm -hmm. the other hand a lot of people felt something seemed off about the official narrative of twitch's passing especially the part about this mysterious note he left in the motel room it was initially reported in the media that no note was found at the scene but law enforcement sources later confirmed to tmz that twitch left a note in which he alluded to past challenges but they didn't disclose what kind of challenges twitch was referring to and even with the note and the official autopsy report many fans are still saying there's way too much fishy business so surrounding Twitch's death, and they're just now buying the idea that he would leave his family. And now that Ellen's friendship with Diddy is in the spotlight, some sources are speculating that Twitch was being blackmailed with something. Now let me be clear, there is no proof that Twitch himself was close to Diddy or attended any of his parties. But the fact that Diddy was so close to Ellen and Twitch worked for her for almost a decade has left some folks wondering if Twitch knew more than it was safe for him to know about those two. Some days it just doesn't work out. Is that gonna be a new thing? Are you gonna try to be early? Yes, I'm trying to be early. Are you gonna be early for my party? Yes, I am. No. No. You know I have to arrive fashionably late. All right, not too late though. Not too late? Not too late, please. What time would you like me there? Um, I'll tell you later, Okay. but oh, not okay. too late. Cause, Cause you know, once you get there, the party really starts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I promise you, I'm not going to let you down on this big one. All right, For good. Real. But what could Twitch have possibly been on to about Ellen and Diddy that would lead him to do the unthinkable? Well, according to fans, the parallels between Ellen and Diddy are obvious. Besides the rumors that Ellen used to attend Diddy's FO parties, people are speculating that they are part of some shady industry cult where all types of despicable things go down behind the scenes. One fan said, could this be why Twitch and Anne were kids? Were they going to expose her? And then another person added, Now I'm wondering if the side of the dancer Twitch has something to do with her, for sure. And P. Diddy blackmail dirty party. But let me know how you feel about this Ellen Diddy connection and what happened to Twitch. Are folks reading too much into it? Or do you think there's something suspicious about Twitch's death? Let me know in the comments. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting video. And I really enjoy reacting to this video. Do you think Twitch's person has anything to do with Didi and Ellen DeGeneres? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.